Hello, Wolf Den. My name is Fulton Elda, and welcome back to Telltale Game of Thrones. As you saw in the last episode, we became men of the Night's Watch. We were wearing the black, and oh, it's awesome. So, um, there is a visitor for us. And if I see it correctly, uh, I can't remember the name. I'm terrible with names. But first off, we're gonna take a look around at the blacksmith. Because I like to take a look around everywhere. Jon Snow's right about Man's Raider. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. Plus sharpen those weapons. I mean, blunt weapons aren't going to do much. Sir Roiland used to make me sharpen all the blades at Iron Wrath. Yeah, Sir Roiland indeed. Don't forget the practice swords. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. Is something I'm glad wrong. I, caught you. I never expected to see you here. Did something happen? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. You're not telling the full story. That settles it then? Right, the delivery looks in order. And we know how to work with Ironwood. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Are you going to tell what happened? Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. How can I help over here? Threats. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Iron Wrath. I'll have to sit at the wall, but here. how can I help out? That's the question. Do I'm you stuck here. Lord Forrester's last words to you. Um. Yes. Just before he died, Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. Yes. It was a secret he only wanted you to hear. He told you the North Grove must never be lost. So Do what does that something? mean? I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. That it was scattered sounds... among his notes. Almost an obsession. And it's a vital north of the wall? protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. Okay. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. Where? How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. Since I'm a ranger and now, then, that's easier. You leave the night's watch behind and strike out on your own. I can't do this that. This is no small request I make. That I know that. that but there's be... no other choice. Isn't there some other way? Where I don't have to break my vows? If there was, I wouldn't ask this of you. Oh. I don't wanna. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is it? A map? What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. That's the Weirwood tree. one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. At the Weirwood tree. I used to be frightened of Weirwood trees. Well, before I was a man grown. I swear. I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. And um, this pendant? That's the thing I have. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... 
He gave his sons a key to the Knights to the North Grove. Look, there's a clasp. It must open. Can we open it? Um. Yeah, I don't have any other options anymore. Okay, let's open it. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewolf. Um. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. If we hold this over the werewolf tree, what does that tell us? Um. Perfect fit. Yeah. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Okay, so what have we used over here? And then we can rotate it. Uh, that's looks quite well on this side. Let me see. Um, no, definitely not. That looks more like it. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here. Take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. Oh, well, let's it's hope not, so. But on your shoulders. But I. The lives of uh, a whole house. I, I can't break my vows. Uncle, I can't break my vows. I can't do it. That means a death sentence. When you left Ironrath, you said you'd serve with honor. You already have. God's watch over you. You're I, the son I never had. I can't break my Let's vows. Let's go, got it. That will be a death sentence to me. I don't know. They're probably like little, little oh, shards or something. Again. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. Who's talking? It froze on the way down the wall. It'll probably it'll break up into little icy bits. Be moving pretty fast too, wouldn't it? I suppose. Wait, so you're uh... saying I could kill a mammoth with my piss? <laughs> oh, what? You really are as stupid as they say, aren't you, Finn? God, fuck you, Cotter. Carrot, let's go! Yeah, coming, coming. You two just keep on talking about killing mammoths with piss well, that and. was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? I'm the only one it who knows like lumber. He gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Yeah. Uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. <laughs> Some stuff I can't really tell. I I'm not sure. I could try and trust them with it. It's a difficult decision. Which basically everything is. Oh, yeah, of course. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. Oh, yeah, the wedding of King Joffrey, of course. <gasps> Yay. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And uh, everyone will be able to see it's us. It's Marjorie's day. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I'm sorry I'm being grumpy and sort of stuff, but... I, I didn't mean anything by it. No, don't worry. I've been meaning to say... 
what I told you about my family. Yeah, I... I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. Of course not. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. Okay. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Uh. Please. I'm not asking for much. Do you think that's wise? Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Um, Please, just don't tell Marjorie. I'll say I don't know where you are. Also, we have a visitor behind us. Who I definitely want to speak to. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. Are you okay? I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. About what? Another attack? I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh! Not so loud! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. Do they have any proof? It's not safe. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones. Ah. On the mountain. But they can't know it's his. No one will know what you did. I had to. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't oh. be any details we've overlooked. I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh no. I couldn't throw just that away. Keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. I and already did that. Just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just <laughs> don't get in any more trouble. And I'll I'll watch your back. That's easier said than done. We're together now. Thank you. Just you thank you. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. I think I cleaned the knife. Mira. Oh. My lady. You don't look happy. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Well, there's nothing between us. Not to say it's wrong, mm. but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing. You just don't want to spoil your chances We're of a good marriage. We're playing Game of Thrones. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. She can't, You can tell know. me about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well... It's all about playing the Game of Thrones. And he has this really funny accent. Garibald? It's a clever story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The king's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. My lady's gown? 
I she, will brought, she will be the queen. The Lion Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She said she'd serve the king, yet now she puts your needs first. Uh, I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go. I'm not swinging my loyalty. In any case, Shut up, Marjorie. Uh, the king's Cersei, guard sorry. will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Well, at least it protects us from being of suspicious course, Grace, this, uh, about stuff. my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. I hate her so much. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. Uh... What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shared some wine, my lady. Drinking I have to lie to her. With Tyrion Lannister. I have Sarah, to lie. What do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? I'm trying to save myself. We're playing the Game of Thrones. It's just a cup of wine. Nothing more. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Marjorie can't help us any further. So Let we there just... be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. Um... I promise I won't speak to him again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. It's gonna happen again. It's definitely gonna happen again. I don't know when, but it's gonna happen again. Definitely. Oh, I don't like this at all. That does not sound good. Roderick Forrester, Iron Wrath. Still with his crutch. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. What for? They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. This is gonna be bad. Why are you holding out a torch? What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. You just ruined a perfectly fine card. Who's behind this? Come out and face me. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill. That's Griff? The fourth born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. That little punk? That's Griff? Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey! Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? Enough of this show. <laughs> Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. You could have just asked. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. 
So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. Oh, what hell no. You You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. It will not maintain the peace. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. No, this you is should be watchful. The king's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. No, you don't. We're here under the orders of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. Yeah, we don't care. I will care. be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do we'll whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Can I stab him? Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. Do I have a dagger with me? I could stab no. him. His throat is you right know there. Than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick. We have them to make this. them stop. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. I tried to stop them. But it's all oh little homies got come for me. Company from who? Eat ow ow ow. Could you not? Ow. Could, ow. Dear God, let it be known. I'm terrible at this game. 